What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Hey, y'all see that title? You might be a little confused, but I'm gonna break it down to you and explain what I'm talking about. Um, I said, be thankful for what you don't have. Sometimes you have to be thankful for what you don't have. There's a lot of things that in our minds we say, man, if I had this, if I had that, man, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Uh, but you are putting your uh, desire to have things over your um, mental capability to deal with having those things. Some of us ain't ready. You could talk about wanting X amount of money. You could talk about wanting uh, this type of power and this this uh, position. Or you could talk about that type of stuff all day long. But the truth of the matter is, whether you believe it or not, and this don't apply to everybody, but some of y'all ain't ready for it. Some of, some of us, the second we get it, the second we get it, you're going to just instantly flip and become something else. You're going to instantly uh, become negligent. You're going to instantly misuse or abuse the very thing that you swapping down that you just had to have. Uh, we see it with money all the time and people will say well no nah, man money don't change you it just unleashes who you really are yeah and, and I and I believe that uh, because what money does uh, then the right amount of money what the right amount of money does or a big amount of money does um, it gives you access it gives you access that you wouldn't otherwise have to obtain things that you would not otherwise even uh, entertain in your mind to uh, obtain. Same thing with power and position and all that. Um, you get a certain job, uh, you have access to certain information. You have access to the money. You have access to the codes uh, where you can get into certain things and before you know it, you you scamming and you 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 taking a little bit off. You you stealing and all this good stuff and and you find yourself um, caught up in a situation that you're not able to get out of. So character has to precede money and precede uh, riches and and, and uh, position and power and all that. The right character has to be in place before you walk into those uh, physical things like that. Um, otherwise, <laughs> you you on the clock. Otherwise, the hourglass has been turned over for some of us the second we get what we claim we want. Oh, no, man, I wouldn't do that, man. No, man, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, and we immediately engage in self-destructive behavior. Um, we see it with small amounts of money. Some people that get $50,000, which is not a lot of money, but you'll get $50,000 and that amount could be, it could become a lot of money and it can, um, you can do a lot with it that can push you forward in life if you use it right. But some people that get 50 racks and spend 40 on it, 40 of it on some jewelry. Some people get 25 racks and spend 24 of it on a vehicle or something like that. You know, it just, these are the kinds of things that, that prove that you're not ready. So uh, other people will get large amounts of money and, and all of a sudden you decide you want to experiment with drugs. They never did a drug in your life. Now you want to try it. You know, so... Uh, until we get our heads in order to understand how to handle uh, big things, then we better be thankful for the things we don't have. Um, some people will end up in prison if they had access to certain things. And it's crazy because after people do get caught up in those types of situations and they make it through, those who are blessed to make it through, you hear him say it sometimes. Oh, man, you know what, man? Shh. If I would have never got that money, I would have never went to prison. 
man, if I would have never got that position, they moved me up to all of a sudden they trusted me with the money. I'm the head man at the bank, and I, you know, I done I done gave my partners the game on how to come in there and rob it smooth, and I, you know, just things that you would never do, never do, and. When they come out of it, they're grateful to be able to say, well, yeah, that was dumb, but I got out of it because everybody don't get out of it. Some of those mistakes are um, irreversible for some people. So next time you're saying and talking about uh, or, or looking at somebody else who has a lot, who has the things, and you're looking at it like, man, I wish that was me. Man, that should be me because that's one of the things we always say. It should be you. Sometimes you say it should be you instead of the person that has it. But next time you're thinking like that, a matter of fact, even saying that proves you're not ready. But the next time you're thinking like that, focus on character. Pray for um, richness in character. And that means when you get that, once you do receive the, those material things that... Uh, that you may want or that you may value, then you will know how to uh, correctly deal with them and to correctly handle them. So um, you will control those things and those things won't control you. You won't be destroyed by that which you say you want so bad. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Some of y'all ain't ready, so be grateful. All right, catch y'all later on. Peace.